imparted evil unto yourself and taking on that philosophy of, of a man sleeping with another man you rewarded evil unto yourself there's no good thing that comes from a man sleeping with another man no good thing there's no child that comes from that there's no good thing that comes from putting your penis inside of anybody's anus. No good thing from that. What is the anus used for? Shit. Waste, yo. To remove waste from the body. Now why would you want to put your penis inside of that? Why would you want to do something like that? When you give yourself over to Satan, that's the type of stuff you'll be doing. And not only will you be doing it, you'll... you'll Trick yourself into thinking that you like this. I like this. When you know that sleeping with a woman is a much better uh, uh, thing to do. That's right. It's a much better outcome. That's right. That's a much better, I, I can't tell you about the feel, but it's gotta feel better. Cause it's more natural. You laying up with some hairy dude, muscles all over. Got an Adam's out. With, yeah, with an Adam's out. Yeah, y'all in the bedroom pushing each other, fighting each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a woman, you're, supp you're supposed to love that softness of a woman, the breasts of a woman. Not some nigga in the bed with, with, with pecs like you. Y'all doing push-ups together. <laughs> That's madness. You're supposed to love the softness of a woman. That's you're supposed right. to love that daintiness of a woman. That's right, brother. You, you, I thought you said you had a picture. You said you had a picture. <laughs> yeah, I had when I was going to school. Go ahead. Saying, this is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 32. For their vine is the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Mm -hmm. Their clusters are bitter. One of those grapes of gall is what I was just talking about. Putting your penis in an anus. I'm, I'm, I'm glad the Lord put HIV and AIDS Ooh. in that homosexual neighborhood. That's right. I'm glad he did that. Because that's a disgusting act. So the only fruit that comes from that is HIV, AIDS. That's the only thing that comes from that. The grapes of gall and bitterness is what you get when you do those kind of acts. You get straight bitterness. Go ahead. Their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of apps. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. Our people are not like that. Our people are clean. We're supposed to eat clean, live clean on the earth. We're not supposed to be vile creatures like that, right. sleeping with animals, just, just going after every lust. We're not like that. We bring righteousness to the earth, but our people chose to go a different route. Now you got them out here calling themselves homosexuals, prancing around doing front and back flips all over the uh, streets of America. Just happy and proud. I'm gay, and I hope everybody knows it. Go ahead. No, no, go, ahead. go with your priest. This Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Uh -huh. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. Call it, saying homosexuality is good and righteous. That's putting darkness for light. That is not good and right. That's off, that's an abomination. And the scriptures say that you will be killed for that act. But these people wanna say that it's, it's, cool, it's cool according to the Most High. They wanna say that the Most High don't really have nothing good or bad to say about it. You can just do it and, it's, and all is good. So now you got homosexual preachers. And I'm not talking about the hidden ones. I'm talking about blatantly, overtly, calling themselves homosexuals, standing at the head of the church. Yeah, first and, man and, of the church. Yeah, like the brother said, they got a, a first man of the church. No longer a first lady. You got the first man of the church. Wow, Complete bro. wickedness. Mm -hmm. uh. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Uh -huh. Like the brother was talking about with a woman, man. That's a, that, that's sweet. When you making love to a woman, man, that's a beautiful feeling, bro. Can't imagine doing that with another man. That stuff's bitter as hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that stuff don't even calculate right, man. Like it's like, what? I, ca I can't even imagine what goes through these people's heads when they have the thought of wanting to sleep with another man, man. 
that's a, that, that that's bitter as hell, man. You get a bitter vibe thinking about it, bro. That's right. You know. Kind. This shit. Oh, what was it? You gonna say something? I like the brother was just saying. Uh, he said, uh, also the women, man. Two women licking on each other. That shit ain't cute. Kind. Kind. In uh, Romans chapter one. Yeah. Somebody wanna grab? Guys, I was talking about it. That shit never, man. With two girls, man. Nah, man, that, that's not right either, man. The most Same. time made the man and female. Mm -hmm. All right? You didn't make, make it to women, so that shit ain't cute either, man. No. It is not cute. It's an abomination. The same as it is for a man. You're not going to slip your wickedness in. There ain't no way you're going to yeah, slip and slide like the serpent, and we're not going to catch you. That's right. We're going to catch you, and we're going to stomp your head. That's right, brother. Go ahead. Uh, Actually, let, me, let him hit this first in Leviticus, and then you got it. This is Leviticus chapter 23, verse 29. 20 and 13, unless you had a different precept. Go ahead, uh, you started at 24. Guys, Romans chapter 1, verse 24. Wherefore Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, mm -hmm. to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And that's what we're, that's what we're talking about, this homosexual agenda. Making it cool for a man to be with a man, for a woman to be with a woman, for a man to be with a child. Making it cool for all this madness. Go ahead, Al. Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator. Because that's what it's all about, serving the creature more than the creator. What creature are you serving? Yourself. That's what, you, that's what the philosophy of Satan wants to do. It wants you to show you, it wants to show you that you are God. There's no God in the sky. You are God. Oprah Winfrey was talking about it. Will Smith was talking about it. You are God. The songs about it. It's the God in you. I believe that's a Mary Mary song. We're watching videos about that. Man. The God in you. It's not the God in you. You're supposed to serve Yahweh by Shemi Right, right, brother. Not yourself. But that's the philosophy of Satan. It's about serving yourself. Like we always talk about YOLO, things like that. It's about serving yourself, fulfilling whatever lust comes to your mind. But that's not so. You're supposed to mortify your members and, 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 and fight off those satanic ideas that might come up in your mind. Go ahead, Al. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever among. For this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections, for even their woman did, did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Mm -hmm. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural... Read, read that part again, Shalom. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural about use... About the woman, about the woman. Oh, uh... For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And what's, 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 a, what's a woman supposed to be used for naturally in nature? To be with a man, to have children. But you have women now, They especially starting with this feminist movement, I mean, women are all about women. That's what that whole femini feminism and feminist movement and idea is about. Women's empowerment. You don't need a man. If you are a woman, and another woman is telling you that you don't need a man, you should laugh at her. And tell her you and tell that woman you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for a man. That's so right. how are you gonna say that uh, uh, there's no need for a man on the earth? How are you gonna get any more women on the earth without a man? That's complete madness. Go ahead. I'm gonna read the word nature. Go ahead. Okay, this is nature. Um, in the Greek it's a uh, physis. Uh, or cease. Nature, the nature of things, the force, laws, order of nature, as mm -hmm. opposed to what is monstrous, abnormal, per perverse, as opposed to. It is monstrous for a man to lie with another man. That's why the Most High said he's going to kill you. Yeah. It is monstrous for two women to be laying in. To me, two women lay. That's, that's a joke. Y'all just laying in the bed. There's absolutely nothing that's going on. It's just, it's, it's a joke. It's, it's a complete, just, I don't want to say a laughing matter, because it's not, because you have to die. But that's a joke. What are you talking about? That's not sex. Even if, even like, not 
to really get graphic about it. And even if a woman puts like a strap on or something, like what? What's the point? That's You're what makes it anything. such a joke. You take a, a, a pound of plastic, <laughs> mold it into the shape of a penis, and you want to call that happiness? That's a joke. Yeah, yeah man. That's right. You got the woman over there moaning and shit with a strap on. Crazy. About moaning. That customs, made no man. sense. God, that's all. That's a joke. That's that's. To even call that sex is a far stretch. That's right. That's a far stretch. That's all monstrous and perverse. Go ahead, Oscar. I have a few more. Uh, as opposed to what has been produced by the art of man, the natural branches, branches by the operation of nature, birth, physical origin, a mode of feeling and acting which by long habit has become nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the, the sum of innate properties and powers by which one person differs differs from others. Innate properties. Distinctive native peculiarities, natural characteristics, the natural strength, ferocity. It's natural for you to put that huge 19 inch dildo up and get with a man. That's natural. It's natural for a man to be with a woman. For the woman to love the, the, excuse me, what I'm saying, the hardness of a man, and a man to love the softness of a woman, that's natural. That's why your bodies are made the way they are. So you want to take the natural idea and be perverse. The natural idea is for the man to go inside of a woman, and everybody's happy. Everybody's complete. But you want to take that and turn it into a perverse idea. Go ahead, I got one more. And intractability of beasts. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'll continue on verse uh, 27. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error, which was meat. Mm -hmm. Read, start over on that verse for me, so like. uh, Verse 27. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. One toward one towards another. You got men wanting men. That's complete madness. That is complete madness. Go ahead. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was me. Mm -hmm. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to those things which are not convenient. To a reprobate mind. Now, you, now you're going after every lust. You tr you're trying to do any and everything to fulfill your lust. That's where the dildos come from. That's where men going to these gay clubs, are, are, that's where all that madness comes from. All of this stuff, the Lord gave your mind over to that because you didn't want to follow, follow the law, statutes, and commandments. It is a commandment for man to be with woman, woman to be with man. Be fruitful and multiply. How can you multiply with two men? How can you multiply with two women? You cannot. So they take these false ideologies. Now you got two men going to adopt a child. Then they say they're, they, they want equality. Well, uh, two homosexual men, you cannot be equal to a man and a woman. Because a man and a woman can get together and have a child. You are not equal. You're substandard. You're subhuman. Go ahead. Uh, Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them committeth an abomination. Mm -hmm. They shall surely be put to death. That's easy. Now if you can read, you should see that and say, well, I guess I won't be doing that. Mm -hmm. Scratch that off the list. But these people, they want to try to change that into all kind of different philosophies and ideas. Now they're saying that uh, David and Jonathan were gay. Naomi and Ruth were gay. If you were a, a man in the Bible and you were friends with another man and the scriptures talk about it, they'll try to use that and say that you were a homosexual. Look at David and Jonathan. See, it was okay. Well, you're dead wrong. You are dead wrong. David hated evil. And he totally wanted to remove evil from his kingdom. That's what, his, that's what he was trying to do. 
But you want to say that he was the personification of evil. It don't make no sense. The scripture clearly reads, man should not be with another man. And if you do it, you're going to die. Period, point blank. But you got our people that just want to have it so. Just want to do whatever they want to do. And expect no consequence. Well, there is a consequence for your action. And that's death. That is death. Now, it may not happen right away. It may not be that you sleep with a man and then you automatically fall dead. But that death is coming for you. It's coming for you. It is right on your heels. It ain't going nowhere. And that's why they live the way that they do. Just lively and the loudest ones in the room. Because they know they wrong. That's why they say they have to come out of the closet. <laughs> if it was right, then why would you have to come out of the closet? If it was, if it was good to do, why would you have to come out of the closet and do it? And, I'm sorry, come out of the closet about the whole idea. Because you know you're wrong. You, as a young child or, or a young adult, you try to suppress those feelings. But the world is telling you, do it, do it, do it. MTV is telling you, do it. Lady Gaga is telling you to do it. So the next thing you know, you at the dinner table telling your mother and your father, I'm gay. That's hella often and hella wrong. The scriptures tell you to mortify your members. If that idea comes into your mind, you put it away. Same as smoking. Same as doing drugs. Same as eating abominable foods. Those ideas come to your mind, you're supposed to put it away. Do you have a precept? Uh, you want to go ahead and take over? Uh, could you get a... That. Could you get have a food one and three? That's fine. We're going to read. You can get Psalms 58. Psalms 58. This is Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 3. Why doest thou show me iniquity and cause me to, to behold grievous or grievance? Right, so Habakkuk is asking, he's like, why, why am I seeing all these atrocities, man? What's going on? You keep going. For spoiling and violence are before me. Spoiling and violence is before <laughs> me, man. That comes from the so-called white man, man. Got these faggots running. You know what? You got these homosexuals running around, rampant. You got all these diseases in the atmosphere. We got the ozone layer that has a hole in it. Water's dirty. Air's dirty. The food that we eat is foul. Keep going. And there are that rise up strife and contention. Uh -huh. Therefore, the law is slack. Right, the law in the land is slack, man. And what law is that talking about? It's talking about the law, statutes, the commandments of the Holy Bible, man, the scriptures. You know, because the law of this land that we follow, it's okay for homosexuals to get married. It's contrary to what the scriptures say, man. It's okay for a woman to be, it's okay for a woman to talk, talk to her man like she crazy, man. It's okay for a man to be effeminate. Well, that's not, that's not how the Lord prescribed it to be, man. He got so, you know, the laws of the land. They said this land was founded by the, uh, by the laws of the scriptures. But how is that possible, man? Because it's dealing with a hypocritical, it's a hypocritical nation, man. Therefore the law is slack, uh -huh. and judgment doth never, uh, doth never go forth. Right, judgment doth never go forth. You know, you got the judicial system, which is a complete joke. They have you swearing the Holy Scriptures, but they don't even go by it, man. Yeah. You gotta you, take it to Kentucky and put it away, put that penal code up. Yeah, yeah, man. You gotta put your hand, you gotta put your, the president puts his hand on the scripture, he puts his hand up and prays over the Bible when he gets elected. But he, he does his, all his decrees is against the scriptures, man. Right. You yes. know? Yes. So you got it, brother. You got but it. no, uh, Isaiah, what? Isaiah 10.1 says, Woe to them that decree unrighteous decree. Right. It's not, they're not getting away with it, man. They're, they're not, not, exactly, man. They're not gonna get away with it, man. The laws of this land is complete wickedness, man. The way that this land is set up is, is set up for you to be destroyed. But if you follow, but the ones that are pushing forth the judgment is the, is the men of the Lord. The ones that you see on the streets. The right group that you see on the streets, man. Is there any more on that? Uh, a little bit more. Uh, uh, back at the top.
top of uh, verse 4. Therefore the law is slack, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked do compass about the righteous. Right, the wicked do compass about the righteous man, because the so-called white man did, does compass the right, uh, the so, well, the righteous is Israel at the end of the day, but our people are in a bad state. The Lord got the so-called white man above us.